haven't really woken up oh, until I've had my McDonald's breakfast deal. And I know this is true because before breakfast, <laughs> I put my phone in the refrigerator and couldn't find the keys that were already in my hand. Nothing gets the morning going like the first sip of an iced coffee. Get any size and any flavor for 99 cents until 11 a.m. Price and participation may vary. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Thank you for checking out the Dreamers Direction, another Ben Nichols podcast. Dream on, bro! All right. Good morning, everybody. Y'all ready to rise and grind? Oh, oh, <laughs> my bad. Different podcast. What's up? Nah, for real, though. You guys got your coffee, your caffeine, whatever it is that you need to start the day on the way to work. You're just waking up, ready to get going. All right, let's do this. So yesterday morning, what we were talking about was we were talking about dreams and actually having the audacity to dream, daring to dream, if you will, and how important it is. And the fundamental understanding that we walked away from yesterday or should have walked away with is that daring to dream, as important as it is, is not enough. It's only the first step, right? So today we're here to talk about what's next after you've identified your dream, like how you're going to turn that dream into a dollar, right? And then also there's something else that I want to segue into as we make our way out the door this morning. Uh, I think it'll help clear a lot of the things up as far as understanding priorities go whenever you're talking about achieving objectives. But I'm going to use the analogy of building a house, right? Or building anything, really. But before you start building a house, in your mind, you have a fundamental vision of what that house is going to look like. Like you have a mental picture in your head of what the house is going to look like before you draw anything, before you actually build anything or whatever, you have that vision in your head. And in this analogy, the house that you see in your head but isn't built yet, that's the dream, okay? So you have to understand exactly what it is that you're dreaming for. I'm talking about uh, if it's money, if it's material objects, don't just say, I want to make a million dollars next year. Say, I want to make a million dollars in 52 weeks, you know, 365 days. Be definite with your dreams. Be definite with your goals. Don't just, you know, yeah, I'd like to make uh, enough. No, because that's not really a goal, okay? You have to understand exactly what you want. Just like whenever they're drawing blueprints for a house, the measurements are not kind of a couple feet. They're exact. You know what I'm saying? So you have that dream, that exact vision in your mind. That's what you see. That's, what, that's the house that hasn't been built yet. So then you start drawing out the blueprints. And in this case, in this analogy, the blueprints is actually your plan. So now you've identified your dream, your goal, your idea, whatever it is, right? And it, it doesn't have to be material things. Your dream could be to travel the world. Your dream could be to make money. Your dream could to have the most kick-ass uh, antique Halloween collectibles, you know, whatever. Like whatever your dream is, that's what it is, okay? But to have your dream, now that you've got that crystal clear picture in your mind of what it is, what it looks like, what it smells like, what it tastes like, now it's time to draw the blueprints and actually make the plan. So going back to the house, you say, okay, I want to build a house. Now that I know what it looks like, I need to know what the measurements are going to be. And in this case, you need to identify the steps, right? So you've got your dream, you've got your goal. Now all you have to do is literally step by step write out and identify how you're going to get from where you are to where you want to be. And if it's as easy as make more money, okay, break that down. How are you going to make more money? You're going to do more at your current job to get a raise, a promotion? Are you going to get a different job? Are you going to get another job? Are you going to start a side hustle? Are you going to sell some stuff? You know, like what are you going to do? How are you going to get from where you are to the next, to ultimately the dream? right? But how are you going to get from where you are to what you see in your head? And literally, you just ask yourself that question as many times as necessary, and you write the answer down. It's that simple, okay? And then when nothing, like, whenever all of a sudden you've been writing for 20 minutes, step by step, and it's, it's not something that you're going to be able to do in 10 minutes. Like, you have to make time for identifying what it is you want. You got to make time for that, just like anything else in your life. 
It's not about having time. You make time for what you want. You make time for your dreams. That needs to be part of the plan, right? But so literally, you write that out until there's nothing left to write next. Like you spend 20 minutes, 45 minutes. I wrote a five-year plan on Friday, December 17th of 2021, and it took me an hour and a half, okay? But you keep writing the next step from where you are to where you're trying to get to, okay? So get a new job, make more money, until there's nothing else left to write. Then you put the pen down. And then you go do it. You don't wait. You don't, you don't like write everything out and let it sit on the dresser for two weeks. You stop writing, you put down the pen, and you take immediate action. Immediate action. And this is, this is really going to bring me into the point that I wanted to close with today. And try to listen to this with an open mind. But <clears throat> let me preface this by saying, if someone is truly your friend, you do not have to see them every day. You do not have to talk to them every day. Like, if if someone is truly your friend, it could be three years since the last time you've spoken, seen that person in person, like face-to-face. But if you've, like, if y'all were real friends, it doesn't matter how much time has passed since the last time you saw each other. Whenever you do see each other, it's like you saw each other yesterday. So keep that in mind with what I'm getting ready to say. Whenever you get to the point to where you can see exactly in your mind what it is that you want and you're sitting down and writing out these plans and managing your time, I'm going to give you a situation. I'm going to give you a scenario. Say you've done it. You wrote you wrote out that plan, man. You got the steps solid. You're feeling good. You're listening to Dreamer's Direction every morning, getting your life together. You know, it's it's you're in go mode, right? You're killing it. I got this dream that I'm obsessed with achieving. And I can't I cannot waste any time if it's not going to bring me closer to that goal. It could be the Pokemon that you're leveling up to level 100. It could be the Red Dead Redemption weapon that you're unlocking. Wow, Ben, those are really specific. I know. Pokemon are great, but the only way Pokemon's going to make you money is if it's a card, an NFT, or you're a professional like gaming Twitch streamer, whatever, if you got a Pokemon podcast, whatever. But ultimately, this is the goal, this is the point that I'm trying to make and I want you to think about for the rest of today. Because if you have goals, dreams, objectives that you are just eating alive every day because you don't have it, you're doing everything you can to make it happen, you don't have time to waste on anything, whether it be a beer, whether it be a conversation, whether it be a video game, it doesn't matter what it is. If it doesn't help you grow, or if you cannot benefit from that, you do not need to waste the time on it. And that's going to be super hardcore. If it doesn't help you grow, get away from me. That is my energy all 2022. So again, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for coming back this morning. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Today's customers expect fast, personalized support. Intercom has the tools you need to deliver just that efficiently at any scale. Supercharge your team's productivity and make your customers super happy with Intercom. Learn more at intercom.com slash support. There's a monumental shift in power at work. Employees are speaking up. Turnover is rising. Salaries are increasing. Hiring is tough and burnout is real. It's time to unleash growth. It's time to transform your HR from powerless to powerful. Join ADP on February the 23rd. Reserve your spot now. Go to gettheplan.adp.com to register for the Work Interrupted Summit.